What's going on guys, it's Bounds here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create some text in Cinema 4D that looks like this. As you can see, the text is like cracking and it's revealing some of the, in the, some of the blue through the text, and it has an explosion in the background. This looks really cool. You can keep it like this, or you can put it on a background. As you can see, this is the same exact text, even though it's blue. If you guys didn't know, you can change the color in Photoshop. Um, but if you guys want to see how to, how you can put it on a background and make it look like this, just let me know, and I'll be sure to release a tutorial on that. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to create the text itself um, in Cinema 4D. So let's go ahead and get into that. I'm going to be using Rated Lightroom. You can use whatever you want. Um, I don't think it makes a difference, but it does look better if you are using some sort of Lightroom. So first thing I'm going to do is MoGraph. Mo text and you get this right here and if you get an object change the text you can use whatever you want um, for this tutorial I'm just going to do um, what do you tut um, let's see font um, let's see I usually go with like a clean looking tut I don't think uh, like block fonts would look good for this I mean it might you can you can try but let's see I'm going to go with manteca right here it's kind of a clean um, font. So next thing you want to do is change the depth. You don't want to make it too far back and you don't want to make it too skinny. So I'm going to go with probably 65 for this. Looks good. Um, so yeah, don't make it too far back. Don't make it too skinny. Just make it, you know, just make it look nice. Alright, so next thing you want to do is you want to drag your colors that you want to use on here. So as you can see, I did blue in this one. You can use whatever color you want. You can change it in Photoshop. Like I said, I'll show you that if you um, want me to do that tutorial. But anyway, let's see. I'll go for a different color. Let's go with uh, let's go with purple for this. I don't know why not. So you want to drag that on, and you'll get this. Next thing you want to do is you want to get like a nice gray material. I'm going to use this one. It's called Rated Gray, and you want to drag that on. You want to make sure the gray right here is to the right of your color, so you have the color right here and then you have your gray there alright so basically what that's going to do is it's going to make the gray on the outside and the color in the inside so when it cracks the color is on the inside and it looks looks nice alright so now what you want to do is you want to duplicate this whole text just let me move this back down um, alright you want to duplicate this text with control C and control V or command C and command V if you're on a Mac next thing you do is you go to plugins throw C and throw C now I'm gonna do probably let's see 85 pieces looks good. Um, it'll give it it look like this. So the more pieces, the more cracks you want, do more pieces. Um, the less cracks, do the less pieces. So I think 85 looks pretty good. So once this breaks, you'll see we have these pieces over here with the red X. Just go to MoGraph, Effector, and Random, and it'll do nothing. That's because these X's are red. Click them and change them all to green check marks it'll do this now we don't want it to look like that we want it to look clean like it's cracking the text itself so all you have to do for that is make sure you're on random change the strength down a little bit so see I'll go with about four here you can change the seed right here at the, um, right below it it gives it basically different ways that it can be cracked so let's see I'm gonna go with that let's see how this looks let's render this out a little bit so it should be like the text is cracking just a little bit uh, yeah you can see it right there um, it's really nice effects you can keep this if you like it you can just like keep this by itself and do whatever you want with it but uh, I'm going to show you guys how to take it one step farther and get the background like that so what you want to do for this is you want to take your duplicate that we just made a second ago and you want to do the same thing um, basically so just go to plugins throw C, throw C we'll do 85 for this as well um, you can play around with it and do however many pieces you want. You can do less, you can do more. I don't know. But 85 I found looks good. So, um, yeah, this is what I'm going to be showing you guys. And for this, let's just, just go show you. Um, you can do, you know, whatever. You can keep it, you can like explode it. You'll see here in a second. You can keep it exploded or you can really do whatever you want. It's just personal preference from here. You can do whatever you like. But I'm just going to show you how to do this and what I think looks good. And yes, yeah, so like I said, if you guys want to see how to put it on a background and create this, let me know. I'll be sure to do that. Alright, so this is done. I'm going to do the same thing. Like I said, go to MoGraph, Effect you, Random. And you want to change these X's to check marks, and you'll get this big explosion. Um, what you want to do from here is you want to change your angle, and you want to make this one. Make sure you have, like, click on the first throssy piece right here. Shift click on the last one, and you want to move it behind the text but you want to keep some pieces in front of it to make it look good so let's see I'll do 
right here. I don't know, we might move that back, we'll see how it looks. Um, but I think that looks good. We might change the random strength down a little bit. So, let's see. We'll do about 80 some. Like I said, you can play around with this all you want. I'm gonna keep it like that. So, if we render out a little piece of this, we'll see how this looks. It should take a little bit of time rendering. I'll show you some render settings after this as well. I'll uh, just make it look better. Alright, so as you, you can kind of see it, it's looking like this. Um, it's basically exploding in the background. It looks really nice. So I'm going to show you some render settings now. You can play with this however you want. I'm going to leave it like this for this tutorial. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do, I'll make it 1920 by 1080. I find it works really well. Um, save, you want to make sure you do PNG here. Um, change it wherever you want. Now uh, this is important, you want to make sure alpha channel is selected, otherwise it'll have a background while it's rendered, so make sure that's checked. Uh, Multi-pass you don't need, um, ambient inclusion, and global illumination is what you will need to make this look better. If you don't have these here, just go to effect and they'll be here, um, just make sure you have those selected. I use default settings on here, um, but I might change this actually, so go to global illumination and go to iridance cache, because that's how you say it. Um, go to that, and sophisticate... I don't know how to say it, but the first one, uh, make it medium or high, whatever you want. I'm going to go medium. But anyway, we'll render this out, and we'll see how this looks here. So, I'll be back when this gets done rendering, and we'll see how this turns out. Alright, so as you can see, the text is finished rendering, and it looks pretty sick right here. So, let's just go ahead and open this up right here. And it looks really cool. So, if we compare this to the other one, basically looks the same thing, just different color. Um, so, it looks really nice. Like I said, you can put this on backgrounds. As you can see right here, um, if you want to know how to do that, like I said like two times, I think I said it already, but let me know in the comments if you want to see how to put it on a background. That's pretty much it, so you can do whatever you want with this text. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.